It's the big switch, the growing trend that's seeing professionals ditch their jobs to take up teaching. From stand-up comedians to engineers, the older and wiser graduates are stepping up to fill a looming shortfall in educators. Among the 2,000 students at Benoa State High are some high flyers who've gone back to school. Good morning, Year 11s. So I'm Mr Leggett. So this here. student teacher is actually a dietitian. In the next classroom is a civil engineer. What's the first type of energy that we're looking at? They're a new breed of teachers, rich with life experience. I'm being able to say that I was an engineer. Um, I was out there uh, in the, the workforce really uh, makes them pay attention. But being at the top of the tree in one profession doesn't mean teaching teenagers is easy. This is just the second time Troy Leggett has taken on a chemistry class. What compound have we got here? At nearby Merrimack, a one-time stand-up comic is teaching maths. They laugh at my jokes, so... <laughs> Kyle Anstey is also a former civil engineer. He switched two years ago and has no regrets. The same day over, I mean, it was Groundhog Day. Um, I couldn't see myself being able to survive that for 40 odd years. At the moment, it takes one year to reskill into education, but from 2018, late bloomers will need to do a two year masters. The jobs are there for people. Um, and we're actually heading into a bit of a teacher shortage uh, from about 2019 onward because of the ageing profession. 70% of graduates from these master programs have had another career. So does being older and a little wiser make them better teachers? These guys, you know, I've been doing something for 10 years. I've had a family. I know that I want to be a teacher. So they, they tend to be very focused and they tend to be great teachers. A 30-year veteran, Rob Keane, who supervises graduates, says it is a tough gig. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to have once upon a time. <laughs> but, uh, no, it is. It is. It, you've got to put your heart and soul into the, into the job. Otherwise, you just don't survive. A new generation. Now, how do you think I've been going so far? Yeah, yeah really good? All right. Raising the bar one class at a time. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.